we here in Milwaukee got this together. Because we heard on Tuesday from friends, friends, friends at the First Unitarian, that, that they were aware in working on this with, with relationships out east uh, as individuals. And then we pursued our own party to see where it was. And we got the go on Wednesday. The deliberations and the work with the attorneys and the forensics experts had been mounting during the week and the, the go-ahead was given on Wednesday of this week. So this has been a real rush in terms of what we've had to do. Since Wednesday, we have raised over $4 million since Wednesday. We are the party of democratic integrity, not only around this issue in terms of voter integrity, but for us to raise that money is significant because we do not take money from corporations or from political PACs. This comes from the American public. We work against big money in politics and the influence of that money. And that's why we take that ethical position. You know, it's, it's, some people might see it surprising that, you know, the Green Party has jumped up when this has been in the makes for the last 10 days around the country with lawyers who specialize in recount with forensics experts, with computer experts, not only coming to us, but coming to the Democratic Party to say this needs to be recounted. There's enough evidence here that it should be investigated. I want to be clear, there is no smoking gun. There is not something that we're pointing to say that this is wrong in Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. What we are saying is that there's enough peripheral evidence to warrant that our system should be investigated. We are not doing this to the benefit of one candidate over the other. We're doing this for the benefit of the American public so that we can trust that our votes are counted. 